Greetings to all my fellow surgeons and dear colleagues. Today we will be showing you a very very interesting and important technique to remove the soft nuclear material to remove the nuclear densities that are softer especially the diabetic cataracts as fast as possible. This is undoubtedly one of the fastest techniques to perform phacoemulsification which is also known as carousal technique. What we have to do in this technique is you have to first do gentle hydration on the left side so that the right pole of the nucleus pop pops out of the bag. You have to make the nucleus stand vertical in the bag so that the inferior pole protects the bag and the superior pole is facing the main port. Once you introduce your phaco tip through the main port, you have to bury your tip at the junction of endonucleus and cortex and Tell your OTA to switch the FACO to continuous mode, increase the power to 30 or 40 and put your pedal down in FACO position 3 and grab a sweet spot between FACO position 2 and FACO position 3 and if your vectors are right, if your vectors are working fine, the nucleus will start rotating like a cartwheel which is depicted in this photograph very clearly as you can see the ultrasonic energy from the tip and the tip is at the junction of endo and cortex and the nucleus starts rotating you can see the vacuum pull and nuclear rotation bag is being protected with cortex and after a few seconds you will see the cortex has been gone the rim of the endonucleus has gone and the only after some seconds only endonucleus will remain you don't have to stop right now you have to keep your pedal down in continuous mode and after few seconds you'll notice that the endonucleus the rim of the endonucleus will be reduced and only the harder central part of the endonucleus will remain once this occurs the small portion it can be chopped off with a chopper if you are grabbing a chopper in your left hand or it can be taken straight away into the phaco tip all this happens within within a span of 10 to 15 seconds now we'll show you the actual surgical technique what goes on inside the interior chamber so here comes a diabetic patient i already know it's not going to be an easy case because diabetic Cataracts are very very sticky. They are one of the hardest cases to master for a new surgeons. The cases of PCR in divide and conquer are high. The direct chop fails because the consistency of the nucleus is rubbery. It is soft. You won't be able to chop this nucleus. You can prolapse and go about flip and chop but still carousal technique is one of the fastest techniques mind you and you should know how to do it and just like that i have flipped one pole of the nucleus out of the bag although it is the it is the distal end in my position that is being popped out but preferable would be to flip the right pole of the nucleus out by doing gentle hydro dissection on the left side at this time i was planning a flip and chop technique but as soon as i my senses grab the judgment and i judge the situation carousal would be a much faster technique to go about in this case and see the nucleus is standing vertically inside the bag the cortex is protecting the bag at this time there is no chance of pcr and i'll just hold the sweet spot yes i've got the sweet spot and as you'll see the nucleus will start rotating and i'm in phaco position three continuous mode and zoom as you can see the nucleus is rotating it is a it is kind of a spiral movement of the nucleus and just 10 seconds into the surgery into the phaco part i have just finished the nucleus no chop required my chopper is holding stable i have not cut the nucleus and this is the last nuclear piece that goes in don't you feel it is one of the fastest techniques to master yes it is every cataract is different 
and one technique cannot suffice all the kinds of cataracts so you need to be master of around seven to eight techniques to master the cataract surgery once you have all the skills that are required to operate these tough cases in your initial days the better surgeon you will be later just going ahead with the i and a part you can see one nuclear uh, fragment that is there just below my main port don't worry it will be taken care of i'll just polish the nucleus here in india where we operate these high volumes of cases we need to be efficient and we need to be really fast and just like that i don't i don't need a fake i'll just push press the main port and the nuclear remnant will come out because of the pressure gradient of the irrigation fluid and hydro implanting the iol is easy and that's it the case is done the total operative time in this patient was 5 minutes and 20 seconds out of which the phaco part lasted for only 20 seconds how beautiful this technique is if i can learn it you also can learn it just try it in some of your patients that are grade 1 or grade 2 and especially in those diabetic patients where you get stuck in those initial days trenching sculpting won't work in these cases the chopper goes through and through there is cheese wiring as you may call it which raises the rates of complication and once again i'll show you the move in and now i'm at the junction of endo and cortex and phaco 3 phaco 2 and zoom only one rotation if you are able to manage a single rotation of the nucleus it will debulk the nucleus to a lot of extent and the rest of the pieces just follow in because of your flow rate and that's all from my side yet another very very quick technique to do phaco in these soft cases i hope you like my videos i would just request all of you to like share and subscribe my channel for interesting techniques like these and that's all from my side thank you so much and have a great day ahead